been briefed on? Do you understand did the applicant briefing on separation policy or restrictions on personal conduct and law enforcement? Yes, sir. Have you been briefed on UCMJ Article 83? Yes, sir. UCMJ Article 85? Yes, sir. UCMJ Article 86? Yes, sir. All right, last chance questions, reservations? No, sir. Yes, sir. Is Bob Wire in here? What's about to do? No, sir. All right, uh, real quick there, note, you can uh, solemnly swear or affirm. It's your choice, and at the end I'll say, uh, so help me God, and that's completely optional. All right, raise your right hand and pay off for me. I say full name. I am Martin Jessica. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders. And I will obey the orders. Of the President of the United States. Of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations. According to regulations. And the uniform code of military justice. And the uniform code of military justice. So help me God. So help me God. All right, Eddie's, congratulations. Welcome to the Armed Forces. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very much, man. Congratulations. So when do you ship off to boot camp? Uh, January 7th, hopefully. Yeah. You're going to the Naval Academy uh, prep, post course. prep course? When do you go? Uh, next month, sir. All right, next month. So you guys have a little bit of time or whatever. and. Uh, uh, I'm not sure about you, but you'll come back here before you ship off to boot camp and uh, go through a abbreviated uh, thing of what you want through a day, a quick inspection, medical, make sure nothing's changed. You'll take the oath again before you go on uh, active duty. But uh, with that in mind, I just want one of the first ones to congratulate both of you on your decision today to uh, to enlist in and join the armed forces. You're now probably less than 1% of the U.S. population that has ever served in the military. And uh, both of you uh, walk through our front door over there and volunteer to serve and take this out during time of war takes guts to do that and then this country doesn't exist without people like you so I applaud your uh, decision to join but it also comes with a little bit of responsibility uh, even if you have a little bit of time before you put on the uniform for the first time uh, uh, you're part of the club now you took the oath today you're associated with something uh, bigger than yourself and that's just something for you guys to uh, to think about whether you're hanging out with friends whether you're at work whether you're at school whatever you may be doing uh, all your actions, whether they're good or whether they're bad, are reflect directly upon uh, the armed forces from here on out. But uh, once again, uh, congratulations, and I, I look forward to uh, serving with you guys thank in the future. Thank you very much, sir. And, thank uh, you, sir. Family and friends, thanks for coming out and uh, showing your support as a person who stood in these guys' shoes.